Hey there! This is Zach Lovett with a brief tutorial of Easy Bake, a collaboration between myself and Con Yu, the author of such kick ass extensions as After Ease and After Spell. Easy Bake is a tool to quickly and easily convert expressions to keyframes throughout your project. This is just a quick intro tutorial. If you're interested in learning more about the options, check out the advanced tutorial. Let's look at the UI. There are four main buttons Bake, Unbake, Ignore, and Help. The Help window just shows version information, contact info in the store page, and a bit of a description about the different functions and options for the script. Now, let's go into the others. So, if you look at the project, there are a ton of expressions. Most of these expressions just link things together. There's not a lot of animation going on, but if we scroll down a whole bunch, there's all these keys at the end of the expressions as well. Now, let's hit bake and see what happens. So we're going to get a warning that tells us there's a lot going on in this project. So we can choose to continue or abort. At this point, we're going to continue. And it's going to do its thing. So it's finished. Let's take a look. Hey, look, a lot of keys, but no expressions. Super quick to scrub through, whereas before it took forever. Awesome. Unbake. So this comp's already been baked. Uh, what you're seeing here is identical to the baked comp from the last one. And if we looked at any of these expression strings, what we'd see is all of this easy bake, unbaked data code. Don't worry about it. This just lets us rebuild the property just like it was before. Let's look at this one here. All this junk, whatever. I'm going to select this property and hit unbake. It's removed all those keyframes and give us an expression back. If we were to scrub through, we would have the exact same values as before. Let's do something a bit more complicated. Select a few layers, hit unbake. Great, now all of these layers have been unbaked. Keyframes removed, back to exactly how we started. Super! Now, for ignore, I'm going to switch to a smaller comp just to show this a little bit easier. Right now, if I hit bake, all the expressions on this layer are going to be converted. But what if we don't want to bake, say, the rotation? Can undo. The rotation has a wiggle. Maybe I want to change that a bit later. Well, I can click rotation, hit ignore, and it's going to add this little string here that tells Easy Bake to skip this property. So if I go back and hit bake now, position and opacity have gotten baked, but rotation hasn't changed. Amazing. Alternatively, if we select the whole layer and hit ignore, all the properties are set to it. So if I hit bake, none of them get dealt with. Wonderful. So that's it for the core functions. If you want to know more about all these other options here, watch the advanced tutorial. Otherwise, thanks for checking this out.